TitleMatchNetwork.com. Yeah, yeah, I remember Jim Hurd. I, I, uh, I had a chance. It was me and uh, Undertaker. We, uh, we went to Jim Hurd's office one day. Uh, I was having problems with Ric Flair. He was the booker then, and Undertaker was having problems with Ole. Ole told Undertaker that he had red hair and he would never draw a dime. And we were in there talking to Jim Hurd about that. So Taker was trying to get straight with Jim Hurd to see, you know, what's the deal here? You guys want me or not? So I guess Ole blocked it and Taker told him goodbye. And I never seen him anymore until I saw him come out on Vince as The Undertaker. Wow. Uh, Jim Hurd, I had this other problem. I was trying to talk to him about Flair. And so he, he I think he should have just stayed, you know, in the pizza business. He had no feel for this, what we do now. You know A what I mean? A lot of people say that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was your main problem with Rick? Uh, I don't know. He just didn't like me for some reason. I have no idea. But I remember Jim Hurd telling me that. He said to me into my face, he, when I was talking to him, he said, well, I'll tell you, Jim, Teddy, Duke, Rick Flair doesn't like you. Hmm. Why? I don't know. Now, Jim Hurd fired uh, Rick Flair while he was WCW champion. What did that do to the morale of the locker room? Well, I don't think it did anything. <laughs> you know, no, I don't think nobody really cared. You know what I mean? Because at that time... You know, the focus was on certain people. Right. So whatever happened on top, it wasn't none of our business, it wasn't nobody's business. So you didn't, you know, you just, whatever they did, they did. You just stayed out of the way, stayed out of their business. Eventually, Jim Hurd was removed from power, and then Kip Fry came in to run the company. Um, how would you compare Kip to Jim, or, or were both guys pretty much out of their element? Well, both guys were pretty much out of their element. Kip, Kip Fry, he was a lot easier going than Jim Hurd. Uh, but he, 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 he didn't have a clue about this either. It was so many of the Turner people that were in charge that didn't. They weren't know, wrestling. Bob Dew, he yep. was one of the guys. Uh, God, I can't think of this other guy's name. Uh, can't call it right now. But anyway, they, they just didn't have a clue, man. Well, eventually they did have a clue, and they went with uh, Bill Watts, who obviously ran the uh, Mid-South Territory. Mm, no, they didn't have a clue then either. You did not <laughs> like the choice for Bill? No, man. He came in. He cut everybody's money. Uh, he just he just went wild too, you know. He was he was he was a tyrant, you know what I mean. And I guess, you know, I, I've seen him, you know, over the late well not lately, but since I've seen him, I think he maybe he's changed a little he's bit too. A little bit. Yeah, humble a little bit, but he was he was he cut everybody's money, and he knew he was he he you no know, nobody liked him because he always kept a gun on him. He had this gun that was strapped to his leg, a little derringer. Yep. And he kept that on him all the time. And I remember he tried to take the belt back from Scott Steiner, and Scott wouldn't give it to him. So Scott had it at TV, had the belt at TV, and Scott used to always bring his dog. He had a pit bull named Arnold, and Arnold would sit by Scott's bag, and you know nobody went to that bag. I seen them make that dog. He almost ate up Tommy Rich one time, but they pulled him off. But they 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 sicked him on Tommy Rich. But uh, Bill Watts tried to take that belt, and he told Bill Watts, well, go and get it. It's right there in my bag. And Arnold was sitting that belt right there. I don't think Scott gave it to him. He might have that belt today. Hmm. There was a fight because, uh, you know, we've been told about that fight between Scotty and, uh, and Bill. They yeah. didn't get along, so. No. Nah. Well, Bill, he just was hardcore, man. You know, they tried to, you know, run the business the old way. You know, you got to, you know, nothing wrong with that, but you got to change. You know, life, you know, time changes. You know, summer changes the winter. So, you know, sometimes you got to just, you know, adapt with the times. And I think that's what's wrong with a lot with, with the world today. People scared of change. A lot of people said uh, Bill Watts was a racist. Um, but, you know, he did make Ron Simmons world champion in Baltimore. Well, what are your thoughts on Bill Watts being a racist? And there was the big lawsuit with him uh, that happened over the newsletter. Well, it didn't happen over the newsletter, but it was brought up. Um, you know what I'm talking about, where he made comments in that interview with uh, Wade Keller. Do you think he gets uh, unfairly, uh, I guess, labeled as a racist? Well, I, <laughs> I heard this story here, and I don't know how true this is, but I've heard it from different people and reliable people. I heard that Junkyard Dog, when he was working for Bill Watts, Junkyard Dog was in the bathroom. And, Dun well, the, the beginning of it, Junkyard Dog had already talked to WWF, WWE, uh, right. WWF at that time, and he was going, he was leaving. Well, I don't think he told Bill or nothing about it. And the way I got it is that he was in the bathroom, and some way Grizzly Smith found out about it. So J JYW was in the bathroom in the stall, 
Well, Bill Watts and Grizzly Smith are in the band. They didn't know JYD was in that stall. And I heard that Grizzly Smith told Watts, he said, hey, he said, he said uh, Sylvester is getting ready to walk. He's getting ready to go up to New York. He's going, he's going to leave us. And the way I got it is Bill Watts said, I ain't worried about that. That end ain't going nowhere. Hmm. So, and it's hard to say he's racist, you know, because, you know, he did have Ernie Ladd. He, right. uh, he was the first black booker, and I did hear that that a lot of the promoters in the other territories were mad with Bill Watts for putting Ernie Ladd in that position. You know, you don't put no in there. We don't have that. You know, so I, it's just hard to say about Bill. I, I don't. You know, like I said, he, he cut my money when he came to WCW. So I ain't got no, no little loss there. But like I said, I I got along with him. You know, I, no problem. What about his son, Eric Watts? I, I don't remember much about Eric. I, I met him, but uh, you know he didn't stay around long. So. Titlematchnetwork.com.